हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल विवेक्स ऑटोमेशन लैब सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग दिस कमांड्स दिस आर लाइक वेरी बेसिक एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कमांड्स सो लेट्स गो अहेड एंड डू सम प्रैक्टिस विद दिस कमांड सो आई विल जस्ट गो टू द कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट विच इज लाइक वी कैन से इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ क्लाइंट फॉर अस डॉकर क्लाइंट एंड वेन यू एग्जीक्यूट दिस कमांड्स इट विल टॉक टू द डॉकर सर्वर एंड विच विल सेंड दो कमांड्स टू द डॉकर हब and then it will download the image from there so when you say docker pull hello world so hello world is the name of the image that we are going to pull which we are going to download so before we do this we can do one more thing is like docker i m a g e s so this second command which says docker images which will show all the images that we have in our local system and currently if you see it's blank it means we don't have any image now let's go ahead and download docker pull hello hello so now pull is completed successful right now if you say docker image again so if you see they, we have image downloaded right now it has some data there now if you say docker ps minus e so we don't have any container right in our system now let's go ahead and run the container docker run hello word now we are uh, is saying hello from docker so it's it it displays some message actually because this is just for practicing purpose friends and it's not like any real time of application so it just displaying some message which means the container is running and when it runs it actually stop by itself also we don't need to stop it but any other container we will when we will go to the next videos we'll see we have to stop the containers but here it is we can see it by docker ps minus a so if you see now then we can see the container is here right so ps my docker ps minus a command it will display you shows all the containers including stopped one right so it displaying this container even if it is stopped because we are saying docker ps uh, sorry docker ps minus a if you say docker ps so we don't have anything because this container is not running now that's why Doc docker ps commands only shows the running containers and docker ps minus a will display you all the containers even if it is running or stopped so that's why we can see docker ps minus a has one entry now and you see the uh, image name is there container id is created by automatically and then there is some command which we will learn in the next videos and then if you see is created it, it this container is created 27 seconds ago and then it was exited 28 seconds ago means after 1 second of creation it also exited and then there is some port which we will learn what is this port in the next video and then there is some name of the container like date data mind something so this name is uh, default name when you create container and you don't provide any name the system will create uh, will provide some name to the container and in the coming videos we will see how we can provide our own name for the containers right and uh, so now this container is created now if you want to uh, stop this container even if it is stopped but just to execute our command we can say okay docker docker stop and then we need the container id or container name so just copy this here and paste it here so it's successful now this uh, container is stopped so now if you go to the next command so we we'll, uh, we went through docker ps ps minus a docker run image now it's saying docker this is system prune minus f remove all stopped container and prune minus a also remove all stopped uh, stopped containers and unused image so let's see what is this so first we'll go to docker system you prune minus f the first one is minus f right yeah minus f so what it will do let's see what happened i just press enter so let's see the oc in docker system so it's saying deleted the container right now if you see docker ps minus a now there is no container right because it deleted the stopped container as well but if you say docker images i m a g e s 
still you can see the image is there because image is not deleted but if you execute the last command that is docker system prune minus a so let's run the container and then execute this so what it will do it will also stop the container and it will remove the uh, it will remove like both the stopped containers and unused image in this case this hello world is unused image because we stopped the container so there is no container this image is there but there is no container for this so it means this image is unused right so let's do one thing let's clear this screen and let's run the uh, hello world again run hello world so we are running this image again so now we have done it now let's execute docker so I system minus a so what it will do it will remove the stopped container now hello world is running and then it also stopped by itself automatically right if you want to see we can see that doc docker ps minus a so we have a container which status is exited means it is stopped now so now if you say docker system prune minus a so last time we said minus f which removed the stopped container but it did not remove the unused image but this time since we are saying minus a let's see what will happen okay. so it's asking okay so this command will remove all these containers and uh, so there are some other information like all networks and everything will uh, like learn in later videos for, but for now you can say yes and hit enter now it's deleted the image if you see here deleted the containers and also it's saying deleted the image so now if you say docker ps minus a so there is no container but if now again if you say docker images right i m a g e s images so there is no image also so everything is deleted now friends suppose you execute this docker run command hello world without pulling the image what will happen so let's see what is happening so it says okay unable to find the image hello world because you did not pull it so it's saying that's why it's not able to find this image locally and then what it will do it will pull the image so first docker run will execute docker pull command behind the scene right so it will execute that and then pull is complete and after that it's running like hello from docker this part means it's running the hello world uh, image so the, now the container is running so this is also one thing like if you execute directly docker run if there is no image it will first pull the image and also suppose you have the image and you are run, running docker in a uh, run command but the image that you have is not the latest version so it will first download the latest version from the docker hub and then it will run it so hope friends this uh, this was useful to you uh, if you think so just like my video and put any comments if you have any doubts and subscribe to this channel thank you very much